Larry Joe Bird, Lifestyle and Net Worth Larry Joe Bird, born on December 7, 1956, is an American former professional basketball player, coach, and executive in the National Basketball Association, the NBA. Nicknamed the Hick from French Lick and Larry Legend, Bird is widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He is the only person in NBA history to be named Rookie of the Year, Most Valuable Player, Finals MVP, All-Star MVP, Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year. Growing up in French Lick, Indiana, he was a local basketball star. Highly recruited, he initially signed to play college basketball for Coach Bob Knight of the Indiana Hoosiers, but Bird dropped out after one month and returned to French Lick and attended a local college. The next year, he attended Indiana State University, ultimately playing three years for the Sycamores. Drafted by the Boston Celtics with the sixth overall pick in the 1978 NBA draft after his second year at Indiana State, Bird elected to stay in college and returned for the 1978-1979 season. He then led his team to an undefeated regular season. The season finished with a national championship game matchup of Indiana State against Michigan State and featured a highly anticipated matchup of Bird against Michigan State great Magic Johnson, thus beginning a career-long rivalry that the two shared for over a decade. Michigan State won, ending the Sycamores' undefeated streak. Larry Bird has a net worth of approximately $75 million. He is 6 feet 9 inches tall which is equivalent to 2.06 meters tall. That being said, let's dunk. Larry Bird Early Life Bird was born in West Baden Springs, Indiana, to Georgia Joseph and Claude Joseph, well known as Joe Bird, a veteran of the Korean War. Bird's parents were of Irish, Scottish, and some Native American descent. He has four brothers and a sister. He was raised in nearby French Lick, where his mother worked two jobs to support Larry and his five siblings. Bird has said that being poor as a child still motivates him to this day. Georgia and Joe divorced when Larry was in high school, and Joe died by suicide about a year later. Larry used basketball as an escape from his family troubles, starring for Springs Valley High School and averaging 31 points, 21 rebounds, and four assists as a senior, on his way to becoming the school's all-time scoring leader. According to Bird, he grew up as a huge fan of the Indiana Pacers in the American Basketball Association, the ABA, and the six feet nine inches center, Mel Daniels, who represented his first exposure to professional basketball. Bird's youngest brother, Eddie Bird, also played basketball at Indiana State University, where Daniels would coincidentally become an assistant coach to the young Larry once he played there. Larry Bird Personal Life. In 1975, Bird married Janet Condra. They remained married for less than a year. Following an attempted reconciliation, Bird had a daughter, Corey, in 1977. Bird married Dinah Mattingly in 1989. They have two adopted children, Connor and Mariah. During his professional career with the Celtics, Bird lived in the Boston suburb of Brookline, Massachusetts. In the summer of 1992, Bird joined Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, and other NBA stars to play for the United States men's national basketball team in that year's Olympics in Barcelona, Spain. It was the first time in the United States Olympic history that the country sent NBA players to compete. The Dream Team won the men's basketball gold medal. In eight games, Bird averaged 8.4 points. The Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame called the team the greatest collection of basketball talent on the planet. Larry Bird Coaching and Executive Career The Celtics employed Bird as a special assistant in the team's front office from 1992 until 1997. In 1997, Bird accepted the position of coach of the Indiana Pacers and said he would be on the job for no more than three years. Despite having no previous coaching experience, Bird led the Pacers to a 58-24 record, the franchise's best as an NBA team at the time in the 1997-1998 season, and pushed the Chicago Bulls to seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals. He was named the NBA Coach of the Year for his efforts. Bird then led the Pacers to consecutive Central Division titles in 1999 and 2000 and a berth in the 2000 NBA Finals. Bird resigned his head coaching position shortly after the end of the 2000 season, 
following through on his initial promise to coach for only three years. In 2003, Bird was hired as the Indiana Pacers president of basketball operations. After the 2011-2012 NBA season, Bird was named NBA Executive of the Year, becoming the only man in NBA history to win the NBA MVP, Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year. On June 27, 2012, a day before the 2012 NBA draft, Bird and the Pacers announced that they would be parting ways. Bird said that health issues were among the reasons for his departure. Bird returned to the Pacers as president of basketball operations in 2013. He stepped down again in 2017, but stayed with the team in an advisory capacity. He continued to serve as an advisor until July 2022, when he stepped back from maintaining an active role with the Indiana Pacers. Nearly a year later, it was announced in June 2023, the Pacers rehired Bird to serve as a consultant. Larry Bird Player Profile and Legacy Bird was voted onto the NBA's 50th anniversary all-time team list in 1996 and inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1998. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame again in 2010 as a member of the Dream Team. In 1999, Bird ranked number 30 on ESPN Sports Century's list of 50 greatest athletes of the 20th century. He played both the small forward and power forward positions. Universally recognized as an all-time great player, Bird was placed at the power forward position on an NBA all-time starting five roster with fellow superstars. Magic Johnson, point guard. Michael Jordan, shooting guard. LeBron James, small forward. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar center in 2020. Bird has been described as one of the greatest basketball players and greatest shooters of all time. He was selected to 12 NBA All-Star teams. Bird won three NBA championships in 1981, 1984, and 1986 with the Celtics and won two NBA Finals MVP awards. Bird won three consecutive regular season MVP awards. As of 2020, the only other players to accomplish this feat are Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain. Bird was also a four-time regular season MVP runner-up in 1981. 1982, 1983, and 1988. Bird is also remembered as one of the foremost clutch performers in the history of the NBA. He was known for his excellent play in high-stakes, high-pressure situations. In October 2021, as part of the NBA's 75th anniversary, Bird was honored as one of the 75 greatest players of all time by being named to the NBA's 75th anniversary all-time team. To commemorate the NBA's 75th anniversary, the Athletic ranked their top 75 players of all time and named Bird as the seventh greatest player in NBA history. Bird was widely considered one of Red Auerbach's favorite players. He considered Bird to be the greatest basketball player of all time. Bird's humble roots were the source of his most frequently used moniker, the Hick from French Lick. Bird was also referred to as Larry Legend. At the 2019 NBA Awards, Bird received the NBA Lifetime Achievement Award, shared with Magic Johnson. Since 2022, the NBA will award the MVPs for the Conference Finals. The Eastern Conference Finals MVP trophy is named in Bird's honor, while the Western Conference trophy is named after Johnson. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for such amazing content.